Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm making. <laughs> I want to say I'm making bacon cheeseburgers. I'm finna show y'all what I'm using. from Walmart. The cheapest bacon that Walmart has. And it's pretty good too because I already cooked just heat it up for a little bit. Using these buns, these big buns because we got the half pounders, you know. And they might even, sh <clears throat> excuse me, and they might even shrink or whatever. So we probably could have got the regular size ones, but I'm using this kind of pan. Well, skillet. And these are non stick skillet, so I won't have to use any oil. I'm just going to put season my burger and put it on here. I forgot to show y'all the kind of cheese I'm using. Too. Nothing but the Velveeta sauces. Once again, these are already. I think I need these are already pre-made. You know, into the patty style. Um, I prefer the pre-made patty style because when I make a ham my own hamburger, because they be small, they be coming out just like these. <laughs> so, if you have problems shaping your burger, just go ahead and get the pre-made ones. I already washed my hands, so I'm about to get a patty. And I'm about to season it. And I'm gonna show you all salt, pepper, and once again my old bay seasoning because um I went out of my seasoning salt. And it says you can use it on here. Burgers, chicken, and seafood. Right. Season. I'm gonna season front and back, but I'm gonna wait to season the other side till I put it in my. Um, and skin. another thing I learned is you only flip the burger once. And me, I just be flipping it, you know, because I really, I don't want to eat no raw burger. And they say if you want the burger medium rare, you could get on both sides for four to five minutes if you want a medium rare. But I don't, so let's see. It probably need to cook on six, I don't know, six to seven minutes on each side if you want it well done. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, my skillet hot now, so I'm just gonna put my burger over. Okay. I probably could have put soup now. I can see it's curating. <laughs> I can't even call it curating. It's own juices around it. So, with the seasoning and stuff. So, uh, that's why you don't need oil if you have a non stick. Use a plastic spatula on non stick surfaces, okay? And I think I'm about ready to flip this burger. I don't know. I just cook it over. I just took it out of the pan. Before you cut it open to see it done, see if it's done, you're supposed to let, let it rest for one minute. Hey, y'all. And it's perfect. Uh, so I let it cook for eight minutes, eight or nine minutes on both sides. You know, both sides you want to cook through. This is, um, half a pound so if you if your burger even smaller than this you know you can just even use half the time because these burgers are pretty big and i did not and i did flip it more than once because i don't know i'm just not used to flipping it one time like no okay y'all now i'm gonna show y'all how to make how to make it put that out of there get you some butter and I'll just start it around like that and then take the other top and some more water start going around like that and then take your bottom now, this is how you get toasted buns. Just keep it on there for like one minute. Well, 30 seconds, really. Now, it's 30 seconds. Let's see. See how it got a little toast around here? Toasty. Yeah. How the bacon look? Like I said, all you gotta do is take it out the package, put it in there for a little bit, let it soak up, and then you're done. 